Hi there, this is a project HBC tutorial on how to make an animated logo just like the one we've just seen at the beginning of the video. So what we're going to be using today is Photoshop, Adobe After Effects and a plugin called No Light Factory. So first things first, we'll open a new project in Photoshop with the HD spec here, 1080. Just OK that. Got a transparent background so what we're going to do is colour that in with the uh, Paint Bucket tool make that black. Okay, so add some text. The colour of your text and the font is entirely up to you, but we'll go with white. Okay. So if we just centralize that, bring that down a little. Okay, that. So the next thing we do is add a line. Just um, if you want to add a white line, that's or any color line, basically that's the same as your text. It'll always look a bit better. Okay, so let me just change that color to white. Okay. So that's the uh, basic palette, so what we're going to do now is export that so we can use it in After Effects. So that's a simple save as, and we'll just call that Animated Logo. Okay, so now we go across to After Effects. So we navigate to the project that we were working on, Photoshop, here it is, animated logo. Drag that into your um, project pa panel over here. For a second to import. It'll ask if you want to merge the layers, just OK that. So you can see it here in the project panel, so what we want to do is drag it into new composition. It's that wee icon there. And here it is. So first things first, we're going to add a new layer, an adjustment layer, and that sits a layer above the, the original composition here, within the composition, sorry. And to that layer we're going to navigate across to our effects and add a No Light Factory plugin. This is available online if you know what you're doing in that respect. Okay. So just drop it onto the adjustment layer. It'll straight away give you the impression that it's working. So if you want to drag the light flare to the first part of the line that we've got here. Now over here in the effects you can change the um, the type of flare we've got. Today we're going to go with Arc Welder. And give this cool blue effect. So now you've got your flare on, um, your effects seems to be working fine. We're going to open up the adjustment layer by clicking this icon here, and then open up the effect within that layer. Open up the light factory. Now if you see down here we've got the location of the flare. So what we're going to do is drop a keyframe there. So it's exactly where it is. And then we're going to run to around 11 seconds or so. Drop another keyframe. Well, actually, what we'll do is move the flare. That'll drop a keyframe automatically. So we move the flare to the end of the line. And as you can see, keyframe just dropped itself there. So we can move this back and forward, and we can see the animation as it runs along the line in a straight path. So as we've seen in the introduction, it, it actually blended in. So we're going to change the brightness, so we'll, we'll drop a keyframe for the brightness at the beginning and then set the brightness to zero initially. And we'll give that a two second fade in, so at two seconds here, we'll then bring the brightness back up to 100. And then we'll come along to two seconds before the fade out, before the, the path end, sorry. And we'll drop a hundred brightness there as well, keyframe. 
and then at the end of the path we'll take the brightness back down to zero. So what we're going to do with these keyframes, these keyframes are highlight them. This is the motion keyframe so we'll go up here to animation keyframe assistant and then easy ease. That brings the um that gives the the motion a, a little bit of a smoother path along the the line there and as you can see it comes in and then fades out too. So it gives that gives that smooth motion. Okay, so the next thing you want to be doing is add a little bit of audio. I've um I created some textures basically from from Omnisphere within um, Pro Tools, but you know, each to their own. Okay, so I drop that audio in there, you can see it's here. So we just drag that to the bottom and that puts it within the composition. So we just close up this effect and close up that layer. We can see here we have our audio and our um, animation adjustment. So. All there is now to do is to render that out, so we'll render that out, I'll pause the recording and we'll see how it looks. Okay, so now we're rendered out, let's see it. Okay, so it's a little bit jittery, but that's your basics. Okay, so that was Animated Logo from Project HBC. Stay tuned.